I've been away for a long time. It's, I think it's up to a week, two weeks, probably, I don't know. And I just wanna say, Happy New Year. Where have I been? <sighs> Let me explain. <laughs> A question yesterday i told you something and i want to see if you really understood i said yesterday that sin does not take a man to hell uh, sin doesn't take a man to hell so what takes a man to hell unbelief, unbelief. not believing what jesus has done whosoever believeth shall be saved he that believeth not exactly i mean it's just clear in the scripture so people don't go to hell because they sin they go to hell because they rejected jesus so if the trumpet sounds now and a brother in Christ is smoking a stick of cigarettes, will he be raptured? Yes, okay, lift your hands, let's close. <laughs> Does that mean you should go and smoke cigarettes? No. <laughs> Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? No. What's the meaning of God forbid? No. Impossible. Why is it impossible? There is no cigarette in Christ. I am in him justified he is in me i cannot be in christ and carry cigarettes it does not sound alike are, are we together here somebody shout i have received what christ did for me i am saved you don't go to heaven because you're a good guy you go to heaven because of jesus that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so faith in christ guarantees heaven okay so because faith in christ guarantees heaven when you receive christ you are in heaven so brother paul says our citizenship is in heaven so right now we are in heaven leave people and drag yourself you are coming for miracle service you are coming alone your entire loved ones are languishing in, in trouble. Be, be a true evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. You know a woman around your neighborhood she has been buried. Madam, please. I don't have transport. No problem. I will pay your transport. That's evangelism. Hallelujah. Let's be serious about leading men to Jesus. Can I tell you the truth? All that we do in this life will end one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anybody that leaves this earth without, nobody goes to hell for sinning. Everybody goes to hell for rejecting Jesus. That is what takes people to hell. It is not sin that takes people to hell. It is they are rejecting Jesus. The propitiation, the substitute. So don't sit down. Some of us, our wives are not saved. Our husbands are not saved. This is the year to vet everyone's salvation. Start with your household. Don't sit down and say it doesn't matter. When I hear that someone has come to be with the Lord, the first thing I ask is, did he die in Christ? If he died in Christ, I just say, ah, then the only thing we are going to miss is just the physical fellowship. But brothers and sisters, let me be sincere with you. If you die without Christ, you will never, 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 never be connected to Jesus again. As far as the Bible reveals to us. It matters that we make sure people, we give people business deals, wonderful. We give them jobs. I want you to preach. Use everything. Use your looks to preach. Hello? Use your credits to preach. Use your life. Don't say me, I'm not a woman of God. I will keep sowing in Koinonia. Please. The urgency. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is gradually fading in the area of conscious evangelism i know we make altar calls in church but that personal life we pray for people we intercede for people but we watch people they are not born again we don't care we call it being friendly 
start with those on your own. Teaching? Sins that they committed all before Jesus came. Nobody still went to hell, but they were resolved in Hades and resolved in paradise, waiting for Jesus to determine the faith of their destination. So that means nobody goes to hell because of Adam's transgression. So therefore, nobody goes to hell today because of his individual sin. Now, if you understood what I've been explaining since, this last statement will not be a big deal. Salvation is not individualistic. There's nothing like my personal savior. He is the savior of the world. So nobody goes to hell because of his individual sin. Why? The only thing that will take you to hell is who is your progenitor. Is it not who you follow that takes you to where he's going? If the head of your race is going to hell, even if you are a good person, because you are in his camp, you will get to hell. If the head of your race is going to heaven, even if you are a bad person, but you are in his camp, you will go to where the head of your race is going. That's why this thing is about Adam and Adam. Which of the Adam are you under? I'm Especially for you. those of us who have any form of influence, nobody should be under my roof and not serve my God. No, sir. Don't say we don't want to offend anybody. It doesn't mean you just meet somebody, especially a non-Christian, and start harassing them. No. You can start by showing them the love of God. It doesn't have to be one day preaching. Intercede for your loved ones. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Not imputing, and that word means accounting. Not, not accounting their sins or trespasses against them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. God didn't do it just for us. He did it for the entire world. But pastor, everybody's not going to heaven. Correct. Because God gave everybody choice. I'm about to drop some knowledge on you that, that, that everybody has to be able to receive. And this may be a shocking statement for some people, but people don't go to hell for sin. Jesus already paid for that. They go to hell for unbelief. And he died for the entire world. So people don't go to hell for, 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 for sin. Jesus took sin into his account. They go to hell because they don't believe he did it for them. Now, just a few people, I would say in my little small circle, would get to really know what's up. But of course, based on where I am, everyone got sick or like, you know what is happening right now in China. So also I got sick as well, like really, really sick. But along the line, of course, I got better thanks to God and thanks to life, medicine, medication as well. And yeah, I got better and i am here now sorry to say i would repeat now sorry to say because i think i might be really away a lot of things are in the works so let's look at this video right now at least what i thought to discuss with you oh i know pastor about amina is one of like the really really hated pastors in nigeria right now like i i can sit down from a distance because i look at trends and look at what happens Especially, especially in the church setting and the whole church politics and all that. And if you watch me closely the way I discuss your pastors, I discuss them like how I would discuss politics because I look at their associations and how they get to build their relevance and all that. So I was surprised to see that um, what Bodamina is known for preaching, which is quote and unquote heretic, according to many as well, is what I saw Apostle Joshua Selman preaching. Now, you will see some people in the comment right now really, really insulting me and all that because they will say, oh, you don't understand spiritual things. You don't understand. You are this. You see them. I, I like I know them. You see them. But the point is that, is there any difference between what Pastor Elbert Damina has been preaching with what your favorite Apostle Joshua Selman is preaching in this context. What I encourage people to do is when you come on my videos, you don't just come to listen to me. I spark a conversation. So you go to the comments and see what people are saying, how they're getting to discuss it. Because I believe if I come here, sit down, and then I'm trying to 
put something into your mind and say, okay, this is what being real George is saying. You would never regard me or my opinions for what I think. Why? Because I am not your pastor. I'm not someone you look up to. These videos right now you are watching right now is probably either because you have me seeing being real George on the platform or because of the names you have seen Abel Damina and Joshua Solomon, not because you came to listen to what George had to say. So seeing this observation and putting it out here for you, this is just for me to see what you think. Because maybe much later, when I am fully back by the grace of God, then we would have a conversation about some of these things, all right? But either ways, I just had to show myself today and tell also my lovely audience, thank you so much. Man, some of you are super, super sweet. Like, in the Telegram group, very much amazing. I mean, for me, if I'm off, I'm off. Like, social media stuff, I'm, if I'm just off, I off light everywhere. So right now, I want you to make sense of what you have heard right now. If it is correct to yourself that the only thing that would take anyone to hell is not believing in Christ Jesus, not your sin. But let me ask a question in the midst of this. If not believing in, if what would take people to hell is not believing in Christ Jesus, not their sin, not believing in Christ Jesus, is it a sin or not a sin? Think about that for a moment. And I hope to see you in my next video. The name remains George and thanks to all my amazing people. Not everyone here is actually a fan. Some people are diehard haters who just love watching me and will keep following me. But when I'm talking like this, I'm talking to those who have been with Being Real George for at least a considerable number of time and you understand exactly where you are, not those who don't know where they are.